right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who see first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The free. And now we produce his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing is the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicks in the head, and he's still standing. Can't take many of those. You better check. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. Boy, Thai plump. Nice punch land over the top. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. 
All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, big punch land. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, collar tie. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer right there. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Single collar tie now. Oh, eats a knee. Well, he is in a striking zone now out of the clinch. The hook shot's continuing to land to the midsection of his opponent. He's doing a real good job of finding the angle to land the shots to the body, and not one at a time, but multiple shots to the body, mostly by the oh, end. Oh, he's got a Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, connects with the one-two. Got the single collar tie. Wow. Oh, a huge block there. Watch knees to the body. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he has really put his opponent on the defensive here early. Very aggressive right out. Oh. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! So, 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And able to land a nice shot there on the inside. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Blocks that strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice uppercut on the inside there. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, needed the head. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. That was awesome. Really hurt him at the end of that round. He is not going to recover, okay? I want you to go out there this round. Second round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just missed with that right hand. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Single collar tie there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. 
We'll get him. Oh, he might be out. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt man. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at one minute, five seconds of round number two. The winner by Island. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.